After walking for hours into the hot sun, Jack and Michael found the well they were searching for and now they have to rush back to save their friends. But the luck of finding the fresh water was about to change. Ah, ah, what all I know is when I stepped back, I felt a hard bite on my right leg and I fell to the ground. What was it? I don't know. He kept yelling, something bit me, something bit me, and as I looked around to see what it was, I saw a snake that resembled a viper disappearing in the grass. Oh, it's a snake bite, alright. Michael was bitten by a snake whose venom can kill five adults from one injection the viper. Now what started out as a peaceful journey suddenly transformed into a race to save a friend's life. The first thing that came to my mind was that I was going to die but I decided that I had a lot of reasons to live for. Luckily for Michael, Jack knew first aid techniques and was able to help him immediately. In these cases, sucking out the venom is as dangerous for the savior as it is for the victim. I couldn't suck the venom out because it was too dangerous, so instead of that I decided to apply a tight tie to his leg. By doing this, it will take a longer amount of time for the venom to reach Michael's heart. I knew I had to take Mike to the hospital, but uh, we were too far from even the nearest populated place. This extreme encounter had put Jack in the situation of making a series of important decisions in a very short amount of time. I knew I had to keep Mike still, but uh, I had to act quickly, so I decided that we gotta keep going. Back at the camp, the others carried on with their usual activities, not knowing what was happening with their friend Michael. A lot of time passed and we were still waiting for them to come with the water. I was concerned about them because it was getting dark and spending the night out there was really not an option. Meanwhile, Michael and Jack continued their race against time. It was very difficult to carry him downhill. I remember that at one point I dropped him into some really spiked thorns. I felt really bad about it. At that point it crossed my mind that maybe Jack would want to leave me there. I'm glad that he didn't do it. Trying to get Michael off the hill and to keep his condition stable, Jack descended on a smoother side of the mountain, getting more and more off course. Because of the exhaustion, the surroundings became different than Jack was familiar with. Jack was lost. I was literally disoriented. I didn't know which way to go and at that moment, my instincts took over and I just turned right. Because Jack decided to move Michael, the venom spread faster into the body, worsening his condition. The last thing I remember is that I told Jack to take a break. Jack laid Michael down, but he had to know for sure if he took the right turn or not. I climbed the high spot to get some orientation and as I looked back to Michael, I realized that he passed out. Jack's biggest decision was about to be made. Knowing that Michael's condition has reached a critical state, Jack decided to take the risk of leaving his friend behind and run for help. I started running as fast as I could. <laughs> 